And good evening now. We begin tonight at the State House as lawmakers return to Columbia today. They took action to prevent a government shutdown this summer and expanded the ability to vote absentee. News 19's Jacob Reynolds has the details on a very busy day at the State House. With many of them in masks, gloves, or both, lawmakers spent hours coming to terms on several bills guiding the state through the coronavirus pandemic. First, lawmakers agreed on a continuing resolution to keep the state funded after July 1st. Ways and Means Chairman Representative Merle Smith says it allows the state to hire help, making sure federal money goes to the right place. This is not like a FEMA account money where you spend it and then they reimburse you. They've advanced the money and you spend it in, what, in the way they tell you to spend it and if you don't then you have to repay it back and so it's very important that we get this right so we've authorized the department of administration to procure a grant administrator if they will want to do that the resolution also creates a 155 million dollar covid 19 response reserve account along with 25 million for statewide testing through musc the reserve account has 15 million for the health and safety of poll workers and county employees in this year's elections Lawmakers also agreed to expand absentee voting for the June primaries, as explained by Senator Brad Hutto. A qualified elector must be permitted to vote by absentee ballot in, in an election if the qualified elector's place of residence or polling place is located in an area subject to a state of emergency as declared by the governor, and there are fewer than 46 days remaining until the election. The bill only applies to the June primaries and any runoffs. It sunsets before the general election in November, which lawmakers said gives them more time to find a permanent solution for the presidential election if it's needed. Lastly, lawmakers agreed on how and when to return to the State House after regular session would have ended this month. House Speaker Jay Lucas says it was necessary to have options. And I think we all know and we all understand that the business of this state has been interrupted far too frequently this year. So fortunately, we're going, or unfortunately, however you see it, we're going to need maximum flexibility to come back and do the business of the people of South Carolina until November 8th when our terms expire. The resolution guarantees lawmakers will be back September 15th through September 24th to pass a new budget with a better picture of COVID-19 impacted revenue. In the meantime, it allows them to reconvene for anything related to COVID-19 or bills already approved in at least the House or Senate for votes in the other chamber. Tuesday's approved bills will head to the governor for his signature or veto. In Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Well, the newly passed continuing resolution also sets aside $20 million for a disaster relief fund in case of summer hurricanes or other emergency declarations.